Welcome to the condo. If you're new here, I'm Susan, and I'm so glad you stopped by. Today, I have a little haul for you. Um, it's a mixture of some things that I found at a vintage market a few weeks ago, and um, some stuff I've been ordering with Christmas in mind, and some of the stuff, a few of the things I've got at Walmart. So I just thought I'd share them with you so I could put them away, because now that we have our new puppy, Bodie, I have to keep things hanging from the ceiling. My house, my world has been rocked. That's for sure. I took him to the vet yesterday. I'm trying to stand over because the glare on my glasses is terrible. Um, I took him to the vet yesterday and they said, yes, he's a pure golden. And that he probably is not a year to two years old. He probably isn't even a year. Ah, I didn't want a puppy. I wanted a dog that had been through the puppy stage, but anyway, I love him. He's here where he's a keeper. The vet gave me some tips and gave me the name of a trainer. So I've got to call into him. Hopefully he'll call me back. Um, he needs a little discipline. He, he's a little hard on the leash, but you know, he may never have been walked on the leash. I don't know. That's the thing about getting a, a pound puppy. You really, um, you don't know their history. I do know that he was turned in by a young man, and I think this young man probably played rough with him because he likes to play rough, hence these marks on my arm. My mother about had a cow when she saw him, but they're getting better. This was just the first couple of days. I've learned now um, how to take care of that when he starts going after my arm because he, he wants me to play with the toy and when I stop, then he goes after my arm thinking this is the next best thing. And he's gotten my husband too. We're all kind of beat up looking. So um, he's on the patio now so that I can film that. I might let him in so you can see him, but he uh, he's coming along. He can sit and lay down now. I think he, he seems to know his new name. His former name was Buddy and we changed it to Bodie. So it's kind of, I think, been an easy transition. He uh, got neutered right before we picked him up and uh, it hasn't slowed him down a bit, not a bit. But he does enjoy playing with the two Boston Bulls across the driveway. They play really well together and roll and tussle. So that's good. So anyway, so much for Bodie and my crazy life now. Um, let me get on with the haul. I'm gonna see, should I show the best or save the best for last? Hmm, I think I'll save the best for last. So I'm going to show you what I got at the vintage market. I, I got this little um, picture, the blue and white, cause I'm trying to, you know, pick up some more blue and white. It says on the bottom that it was made in Czechoslovakia. I don't know any, it's, the flow blue on the bottom is really hard to read. So um, it was $25, so it wasn't a bargain, but everybody was looking at it. So I snatched it up, I snatched it up. So I got that. And then I, um, to kind of add to my blue and white collection, I um, ordered this from Amazon, just a ginger jar. I cannot remember how much it was. I wanna, I don't know. I'd say between 25 and 30, but I'm not 100% sure. And, ooh, what on earth is that? I don't know what that is. Um, anyway, I thought it would good, you could use it. I could use it to uh, put flowers in. Um, like when my hydrangeas are blue and put them in there, but. I really liked it and I have seen these at estate sales and vintage markets, but I haven't been lucky enough to get one. So this is just a one from Amazon. Okay, I went to a yard sale, big community yard sale a few weeks ago. It was a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Sorry if you hear it, there's a big truck coming down the road there. Um, a beautiful um, day. All, it was just a, it was a big community and they had yard sale, every house, not every house, but 
they were throughout the community. Anyway, I got this brand new roll of ribbon. It's like a burgundy velvet. And this was $3. They had a bunch of it. I probably should have bought some more. And this is a half used one for $1.50. But it's really pretty. Um, it's kind of hard to see with the light. So I think that was all I got there. I'm not sure. I think that was it. I might have gotten another thing, but I, I didn't. I did not buy much there. Okay. Um, at the vintage market, I'm sorry I jumped. I found this thermos, five dollars, and I only have one other blue one, so I bought it. Not that I needed it, but I bought it. And also at the market, this is the thing I love. It's this basket and it has P and G on it for Procter and Gamble. And the lid comes, lifts off like, like that. Got paper in it because I had a, uh, an arrangement with pumpkins and florals and everything and sitting on the hearth of my fireplace, but then came Bodie, so I had to take it up. But isn't it pretty? Now, my sister knew somebody whose father worked for Procter & Gamble, and she said that they gave these baskets to the employees at Christmas and filled it with Procter & Gamble products. And so I got on eBay and I paid 25 for it. Um, they have them anywhere from 39, I think it was, to 70 something dollars. So, I mean, I guess I, you know, I got cheaper than eBay on it, but it's in very good shape. It's kind of, you can tell it's got some age on it, the way it's, the, the, the um, thing is turned a darker brown, but I just love that. And this is in wood. I don't know if you can tell, but it's carved out in wood. I love it. It's not lined. There's no lining or anything in it. I am sorry about the phone call. Stop, Bodie. Bodie's in now because he was crying and wanted to come in and he's spoiled, so he's in. Um, I'm going to show you what I got at Walmart. I live between, stop, Bode, um, between, I have to do everything like this. I stopped between two Wal. I live between two Walmarts, and both of them are getting their stuff out, but kind of slow. And I don't know if it's because they haven't gotten all their orders in yet. And what I see at one Walmart is not necessarily exactly what I see at the other. So I just every time I go in there, I go in there and look. And if there's something I see that I think is cute. I don't need anything, and he's laying down right here, and um, I just don't need anything, and I'm going to have to slim my Christmas decor down because um, I think little man will try to get into stuff. He already attacked the beads that I bought. The tag is off. I think they were like four, four ninety eight. dollars They have a little holly on them. And I thought they would be really cute on this basket, maybe, or a, a basket. I'm not sure. But I did want to mention what I, my plans were for this basket for Christmas. And I hope I, it works. It, it may be too big and I might not be able to do it. But I was thinking about getting my husband to give me some, cut some wood risers, take the lid off, and have my thermoses in there. So that was the plan. That's the plan that I'm trying and kind of make that go along with the cocoa bar with the, the thermoses in here. You know, I have some real tall ones. I have different sizes. So hopefully that I'll, I'll do that. But um, anyway, while I was at Walmart, I found this. I thought this was really cute. Um, a little hot chocolate cup. And it was a dollar ninety-eight. It's an ornament. But I thought it would be cute on the uh, cocoa bar. So, on with, let's see what else did we get at Walmart. Oh, might have been, oh no, right in front of me. I've got these trees. And you know, I mentioned in past videos, I don't like glitter. I'm really an anti-glitter person. After spending 25 years in preschool, 
um, glitter is not my friend, but I thought these were so pretty. So this is the large one and it was $14.98. And I bought two of the smaller ones. These were $10.98. So what I thought I would do with them, I have this big oh, bucket. It's either was used as an ice bucket. I bought it at an estate sale and it does need polishing. Um, it was an ice bucket or a chiller or something, but last year I had just the um, pine trees coming out of it and some lights around it. But I thought I'd get my husband again to give me some blocks of wood and put the trees in here like this, oh, let me see, like so, you know, bring it up, I, all three will fit, and then uh, this one would be down, but just picture them being higher, and I would put some greenery around it, I thought it would be pretty, anyway, I'm going to try it, it may not work out, um, I think it might be safe on the dining room table, although he has tried to pull things off of there. So, um, anyway, that's what I'm going to do with those. Hopefully, if it works out. So, on Etsy, I saw this. Uh, it came from the Etsy shop Mill Pond Company in Riverside, California. And I tell you, it came really fast to have been coming from California. Um, I don't want to take it out. But it's a cup of hot chocolate. has a little peppermint in it. And little peppermints in the um, whipped cream around it. I thought that would look cute on the cocoa bar. And then I have ordered a sign from Kirkland's. It hasn't come in yet. And then I ordered something from Etsy, just a print that I can frame. So I'm not sure uh, which one I will um, keep. I might return the Kirkland's one and just use the Etsy one because it was cheaper. Um, so anyway, that's that. That's the plan for that. And I think that's everything except the last one. Now these two pieces were, I would consider them investment pieces. They're something I'm gonna use um, hopefully for several, many years. Um, if you're familiar with my house, I'll, um, I have a collage of pictures over my sofa of lighthouses. And at Christmas time, I have a couple pictures that I mix in there, um, but I, I'm adding to it. I'm hopefully the whole wall will be like some Christmas pictures. So the first one that I got from um, Kirkland's, and I think they were 69 dollars although they had a really good promotion going on 20 percent off the entire order free shipping and i had some you know uh points in the bank there from purchasing other things but it's united states patent company office excuse me and it just has the model and jcf harris slay patent August 15th, it's hard to see, I know, I can't, um, 1893, and the patent number, and then on the sleigh, it has all the parts of the sleigh numbered, and then down here, it has the signatures of who witnessed it, and the attorneys, and all that, I just thought it was really cool, they had a whole, a whole collection of these type of prints. The next one I got, it was really hard to decide, really hard, but I thought, well, I'll get one red, uh, one with something red in it, and the next one would be green, so I got the tree. And this is, again, United States Patent Office, patent October 11th, 1892, and it's the uh, stand for the tree. And it has all the parts numbered. Um, so I guess that's when Christmas tree stands were invented. I don't, I'm assuming. Um, but I just thought it was so cool. They had one um, that had sleigh bells, just a, the old um, strap of sleigh bells on it. 
I really like that and I thought it would go good with the sleigh, but it was kind of brown and taupey color. It didn't have a lot of color to it, so I didn't get that one. They had one, um, a Santa Claus going down the chimney. I don't know how that was patented or what the patent was about. That was cute. Um, they also had a wreath. Uh, I guess how that's assembled or the wreath form or something. I didn't pay that much attention to it. They had also, oh, they had like a children's sled. You know, the kind you see kids, used to see, kids slide on down a hill or something. It's, when it snows and I have my mother-in-law's which is an old one not she got it as an adult but it's she's 96 now so it is old but I almost got that one that one was really cute but I decided to get the the big sleigh sleigh yes um so um I just I love these I just can't wait I really cannot wait to hang them up I just think they're just so different and it goes with my decor because a lot of my Christmas stuff is uh, stuff that I've used for years and years that has been passed down to me and um, kind of classic and a few vintage things mixed in. So I just thought these would go so well with them. So look on the Kirkland site. I don't know that if the stores are going to carry them. I, I, um, I haven't been to a Kirkland since they've been putting out Christmas stuff. I usually go when I go over to my mom's. She lives over that way. But I wanted to order these because I was so afraid they would sell out. And I, they came really quick. I'm so, so excited about them. Can you tell? I'm really excited. So um, anyway, that's all I have on this haul. I might have another one before I start to decorate. But it is getting me excited to decorate. And... Uh, trying to think about how I'm going to do things and dog proof my stuff. Uh, definitely going to slim down on some things. I can't put anything on the fireplace hearth, I don't think. Um, unless we get him whipped into shape before then, but we shall see. So I am going to close out this video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, check out your stores. You know, the the shipping thing is a nightmare, they say, and if Walmart is any example, they just get, I think they just get little bits and pieces at a time. Um, I feel bad for people who have small children they're trying to buy toys for because I have a feeling that's going to be a real issue. But, um, oh, also, I'm going to take you along on this journey. If you see, I'm sure you can tell over here, we had to... Um, we had to, no, on this side, well, it's on both sides. We had corbels there, so we had to take them down because we're getting new quartz countertops. And so my husband has started disassembling things uh, like this weekend, this is coming up. Uh, I think they'll be here in about 10 days. So I'm gonna, <laughs> the dog kicked the camera, sorry. Um, I'm gonna show you those and show you how he goes about trying to pull this, this countertop off without messing up my backsplash because I love my backsplash. I love that color. It was an expensive glass tile and I have a few, if he breaks a few, I think I have like 20 left over, but I don't, you know, he's gotta be really, really careful. So there might be some bad words said. Ooh. Anyway, thank you for stopping by. I'm sorry about the glare in my glasses. I, I feel like I look like a monster. Um, Thank you for stopping by. I'll take the camera down and show you Bodhi, and I'll see you next time. So you take care. Bye. There's that handsome man. He's so pretty. Isn't he pretty? He looks so angelic. He's in his angelic mood for this morning. I've got to go off in a little while and put him in the crate, and he's not going to be so angelic. He does not like going in there. He prefers to sleep in our bed, which is not going to work out. So anyway, the Bodie, can you look at the folks? Say hi. Hi, sweet boy.